So as we just learned before the break, My Life has built its business on your personal information, selling those details to you or to somebody who wants to find you. Here once again, our Ones for Justice investigator, Alana Otler. Did you ever send out your resume and never hear it back? My life feeds off the idea that reputation matters. Your rating can even be dragged down by your relatives, exes, or neighbors. But you can improve that score by interacting with the site. There's that pesky thing called your reputation. In a past life, my life went by a different name, reunion.com. But in 2008, the site was sued for misleading customers into thinking acquaintances were trying to find them. Reunion rebranded as My Life in 2009, and in 2011, the case was dismissed. Now, what makes My Life unique is the reputation score and how much information they offer for free. It's coming from public sources, so they're not doing anything wrong when they publicize it. Privacy advocate Haley Kaplan says it's legal to share information that's already public. But Kaplan takes issue with another aspect of my life, the suggestion you may be a criminal. I would say that's extremely unethical. Technically, an offense as minor as a traffic ticket qualifies as a court record. But with colors, fonts, and exclamation points, my life leaves the details to the imagination. And removing that information can be hard. Wilkerson contacted my life to take down her profile. But weeks later, she found another page under her name. The only difference? My life said she was 99 years old. I'm very disturbed by it. So just how accurate is the rest of the information on my life? We set up in Clyde Warren Park, prompting strangers to see for themselves. A 3.0, huh? Ellen Becker says my life got her life totally wrong. I'm Jewish, not Christian. I am not single. I'm very, very happily married. <laughs> we even waved down former mayoral candidate Jason Viaba. I am not a Tea Party supporter. Now, that's not true. I'm for marriage equality. I don't oppose marriage equality. And Calandra Paul disagreed with just about everything. Would you say that most of this stuff is true or false? It's false. Mm -hmm. Very false. Calandra may have sexual offenses. What do you think about that? I'm sexy, but I don't have sexual offenses. Many told us they plan on asking my life to remove their pages. But Viaba says with the internet, there's only so much you can do. But if you look to the internet for your information, you always expect to take it with a grain of salt. My life did not respond to repeated requests for comments or interviews, but we do want to show you how to remove your page from the site. We're going to walk you through the steps here. First, you're going to create an email address specifically for the removal process. So a good idea is to say yourname.removal at gmail.com. That's exactly what I did here. Then you're going to go to your My Life profile, pull it up, search your name. You're going to copy the URL at the top of the web page. Copy that. You're going to go back to your email, paste that URL right here. You're going to send the email to removal requests at mylife.com. We've made that address a little bigger on the side of the screen. We've even copy and pasted a form that you can put there so you know exactly what to say. And of course, Doug, it never hurts to be polite. So uh, with doing all that, do you have to pay to remove yourself? And how can you be sure that no matter what steps you go through, is it going to work? No, you should never pay to pull your page from a site like this. If a week goes by and you still haven't heard from the company, send it again. Again, several people tell me they had to contact my life two to three times before they took down the profile. And of course, we showed an abbreviated version of this process right here. But if you want more, head to our website, cbsdfw.com. There we will have a step by step process of how to remove your profile from not just my life, but multiple sites. Well, there's absurdity in it all to a certain degree because my, my, my deceased mother's phone number is on there. That, that bothered me. But also, my wife of 25 years, she reads that. It says, I'm single. Yeah. I have a problem there. Just inaccurate information. It just shouldn't yeah. be on there. Yeah, it really shouldn't. Uh, Alana, thank you. You've opened a lot of eyes tonight. There is a lot to consider. Alana's going to be here to help walk us all through this. In an upcoming Behind the Lens episode, also, we're going to post on our website. Get your questions ready. Get them in now. You can call us at 817 586 7211, or you can email any questions you have regarding this at justice at cbs.com. Then see Alana, address your questions or concerns by clicking on the big Behind the Lens button button that we have. It's on the iTeam section of our website at cbsdfw.com.